FAA colleagues, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, Salamat Petang, welcome to FAA Certification Ceremony. FAA, since its inception, has awarded more than 300 certificates on accreditation, either for learning programs or for individuals who have successfully met the required competencies to deliver quality services within their organization. I am very, very honored to welcome you all to this ceremony and would like to record our deepest appreciation for your taking the time to be with us. This ceremony this afternoon is indeed to celebrate the work that we have all done together uh, with our clients, partners and supporters to advance learning and development in supporting the overall human capital development for financial services industry in Malaysia and beyond. We are very pleased to be um, entering into this environment with our accreditation. We do really look forward to continuing our fruitful collaboration with the uh, esteemed institutions of Malaysia. For us as FITC, this is a big milestone. Standing on this stage, I actually feel like an ambassador to the Nigerian financial system. Thanks to FAA, I have to recognize their efforts in ensuring that the branch managers of Bank Right able to deliver the right financial products that fulfill the need of the community. The FAA learning standards are comprehensive and far-reaching. Aligning ourselves with the FAA's best practices, we have effectively provided our students with credibility for a better future is well synergized at UCSI. Good afternoon, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I almost said good morning. <laughs> you would understand if I say good morning. It's an honor to be here this afternoon. My greetings from the FITC board, management, and staff to the FAA board, FAA management and staff, ladies and gentlemen here, distinguished members of the press. For us as FITC, this is a big milestone. Standing on this stage, I actually feel like an ambassador <laughs> to the Nigerian financial system. I'm also conscious of the fact that some of us around this room may not know what FITC is. So with your consent, I'll walk through certain things. First, I'll tell us what FITC is. I'll also tell us the importance of the accreditation and the CTP, which I received. And I'll also explain why we feel this is very fundamental. So FITC is 37 years old. It's registered as a not-for-profit, special purpose, professional services organization. We have as members all the institutions that are in the Nigerian Bankers Committee. Many of them are having international subsidiaries across Africa and also in the UK and in the US and part of Europe. Over the 37 years, this year my colleagues and I celebrated 70,000 participants at FITC trainings from inception to date. <laughs> FITC's programs are increasingly recording participants from Togo, Ghana, Liberia, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Mozambique, to mention a few. This certification uh, last year, FITC signed an MOU with FAA to certify 15 courses. I just received the first batch of 10. God willing, next month we'll submit the final batch of the five. And then last year, we also had three senior executives of FITC go through the CTP. It was not just me. Two others are in Lagos. They couldn't attend this event because we have to manage our costs. <laughs> now, 
Why was this so important? Why are they certifying 15 courses? I will tell us why. In 2006, the Central Bank of Nigeria, with other financial regulators within the financial system, came together with a few institutions to develop the FSS 2020. FSS 2020 is a brand name for the Financial System Strategy 2020. Nigerian financial system wanting to be among the top 20 financial systems globally. FITC being one of those people that conceptualized the FSS 2020 blueprint, FITC had the privilege of chairing the Human Capital Development Implementation Committee. That committee's report included things like financial literacy initiative, approved persons regime, and the competency management framework. So when the CBN released the competency management framework in 2012, with that deep understanding of the strategic objective, FITC engaged the system. And after that, in 2014, we developed the competency-based training curriculum. And it was specialized and focused on the banks in Nigeria. We ran them as implants programs for all the banks in 2015 and 2016. Every session receiving feedback for improvement and developing the courses further. So when we met FAA at the World Bank Institute's conference in Lagos, we were clear on what we wanted from FAA. Within the competency management framework, there were some areas that are the controlled functions. These are the areas that the regulators are interested in and they feel that if you have things done right, most likely the banks will be sustainable. So we submitted the 15 courses and then we had those who lead the functions go through the CTP. Now, God willing, by the next month, we'll submit the last five, but that's not where it ends. The strategy is called FSS 2020, so we're two years away from 2020. There's a project going on, which is a competency assessment system, whereby people in those functions will be assessed in the competencies so that those courses will actually be very prescriptive and scientific based on learning gaps observed. Now you understand when I say this was very important and we're going to give it all our best to make it work for Nigerian banking system and based on the countries that Nigerian banks are going into and defining the service standards in those locations. There was a recent survey that showed that the top five banks in Africa, three are Nigerians. So now you understand why I'm here and I'm receiving 10 certificates and there will be five more by the grace of God before the end of the year. Once more, thank you for your rapt attention and thank you very much from all the members of staff, management and board of FITC. It's a cherished privilege and an honor to be in this room. And I'm not in this room alone. My nephew is actually here. He looks just like me. So you say hello when the session is over. Thank you, Mr. Nazim, and your entire team. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.